Line segment CD is the altitude drawn to hypotenuse EF in right triangle CEF. So let's draw out the situation here. We have triangle uh, ECF where CD is the altitude and it's drawn from uh, the right angle to the hypotenuse. So it looks something like this. So this problem here, uh, E, C, F, and D. So this problem here is really a question on whether or not you uh, recall the geometric mean formula, which has the following relationship. Let me just um, take you aside and just show you what exactly is the geometric mean formula. So if you have a right triangle in this kind of setup where you're drawing the altitude from the right angle down to the hypotenuse, the altitude will partition the hypotenuse into two segments. Now, I don't know what the ratios of the partitions are, but what I do know is the products of these partitions will equal to, I'm going to call the altitude there, C, will equal to the altitude squared. And as it turns out, C is what we call the geometric mean. So we're going to use this idea to, um, to help us out with this problem here. The, um, what, what you can do, and I highly encourage you to try this on your own, is to convince yourself, to prove to yourself that this relationship here is in fact true. And this relationship springs from setting up a proportion and the proportion comes from setting up a series of similar right triangles. I really do encourage you to try and do this, okay? Um, to break this right triangle up into three separate similar right triangles and then to convince yourself to, that this proportion holds true. Anyway, getting back to the problem here, uh, what we have is EC is 10, so EC is 10. Uh, EF is 24, so this entire segment is 24. And you're asked to find what ED is to the nearest tenth. Okay, so remember, I'm going to try and capitalize on the geometric mean formula here to help us out with, the, um, with determining that value of X. You can certainly try to break up the right triangle into three similar right triangles to solve this. I'm not saying that that is uh, incorrect. However, I, I do find um, drawing the three similar triangles to be a little uh, more labor intensive, which is why I, I'm showing you this approach here. So ED is what we're trying to solve for. Well, uh, I need to know other pieces of information in this diagram before I can get to ED. So let's try to express other parts of this diagram in terms of x. So if ED is x and EF is 24, therefore DF must equal to 24 minus x. If I were to capitalize on the geometric mean formula there, I, uh, in, as a consequence of that, I will be determining the uh, length of the altitude, which I'm going to call y. So I have the following relationship. I can then say x times 24 minus x is equal to y squared. In this equation that I just wrote down, there are two unknowns here. There's x and there's y. And that is an impossible equation to solve for a, uh, a unique solution. So what we're going to do is we need to find a, another uh, equation so that we can then try to eliminate one of the variables here. And if you look closely at the smaller right triangle, um, I can then form this relationship. I can say x squared plus y squared is equal to 10 squared. And by doing this, I can then isolate y squared in the second equation here. And what I can do then is take that equation that I've isolated y squared for and substitute it back into the first equation. So take this and put it back in. Right? And the result of that will be x times 24 minus x is equal to 10 squared minus x squared. I will now distribute the x on the left-hand side and I get 24x minus x squared is equal to 10 squared minus x squared. 
And if you look at this, the variables just start dropping out. They start eliminating. I have x squares on both sides, negative x squares on both sides. So I can add both sides by x squared, and I'm left with 24x is equal to 100. And then the last thing to do is just to divide both sides by 24. I get 100 over 24, which will turn into something roughly over 4. Uh, let me just punch this into the calculator. So it's 100 divided by 24. That will be 4.166666. And to the nearest tenth, it will be 4.2. And that is the solution there, 4.2.